Why, hello. So it is now September, which means to me that it is fall time, or at least I'm going to pretend that it's fall time, even though it is still summer and there are still some 80 degree days on the horizon. But regardless, I've decided it is fall time and I want to make some cute fall things. So I saw while I was scrolling Pinterest, because that's where I get a lot of inspiration for things that I want to make, I saw this absolutely adorable pumpkin bucket hat. And ever since I've seen it, I just I need it I need it I just need it so that's what I'm gonna make I also kind of want to make another bucket hat uh, that's just like a plain one but with some fall colored yarn that I have left over from a sweater that I made so yeah uh, I will make sure to link the pattern for this bucket hat down below um, and then whatever one I end up using for the other hat because I haven't planned that one out yet so uh, yeah I actually started this the other day I was gonna do the intro but neighbors were being a bit loud so I had to wait to introduce the video until today. So for materials, first off I'll be using obviously a crochet hook. I have a four and a half millimeter hook uh, that I'll be using and then I have this kind of orangey yarn. It's a little bit more on the yellow side but it's the most orange yarn that I have and I don't really want to go and buy more yarn so I think this will be cute too as like a little hat. It's kind of more of like a natural pumpkin color so I think it's fun um, and then I'll use this like sagey green for the stem uh, and yeah I'm just excited to have some more bucket hats. Now that I have bangs I've had them for several months now and I think I like the way that book hats actually look on me, which is surprising because I usually don't like hats. But yeah, I'm excited to have this. And then the other hat, I'm thinking I'll use this like multicolored uh, autumn colored yarn just because I think it'd be such a fun color for a hat. Uh, I'm a little worried about using it again just because I remember when I made the sweater it really liked to split apart. But I think it'll be nice and like nice to have something more like fuzzy and then something I could actually wear outside of the fall time as well because obviously a pumpkin bucket hat I'm probably only gonna want to wear during the fall time so yeah that's the plan uh, I also I might try um, adding a little bit to that sweater that I was talking about just because the sleeves I noticed when I was wearing them were a little short so I might elongate them in this video as well we'll see uh, just because I want to make sure that I do that before I use up all of this yarn but yeah that's that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm excited for these projects and let me flash back to yesterday of me working on it and then I'm gonna keep working on it today and we'll see how far I get on the first one which is of course the pumpkin hat so yeah let's let's go work on this pumpkin bucket hat shall we So I started working away on the first bucket hat, which was the pumpkin one. Like I said, this one popped up on my Pinterest and I bought the pattern off of Etsy. I'll be sure to link the pattern below just so that you guys can get it in case you also want to make the hat. So, but yeah, I did see in the reviews that the pattern was a little bit confusing for some people since it doesn't have stitch counts per row. Uh, for me, it wasn't too bad. Uh, it's actually pretty close to the shorthand that I usually use when I'm making notes on things that I'm creating. So uh, I, I was able to pick up on it but just a forewarning in case you are a person that like needs stitch counts like it's not uh written in the pattern and also like in the pattern doesn't like fully explain each of the steps so but uh for me it was a pretty easy pattern to pick up on um and again the shorthand was close to what i'm used to writing down for myself so i was able to pick up on it pretty easily and overall it was just a pretty easy pattern to work up so I just want to do a little check-in because uh, I've been working on the hat. I keep doing things like choosing a size and then undoing it and then choosing a new size. Originally, I went with the small. I thought that'd be too small. So then I went large and then the large, I was like, no, that's way too big. So then I went back to a medium and I've been working on the medium size. I've worked up the edges quite a bit. First of all, this is extremely cute, but unfortunately, um, it's, it's too big. <laughs> It's too big, so I have to undo it again. I mean, this this is my own fault. I chose larger yarn than what they had in the pattern uh, just because this is what I have. It's my own fault, but I'll undo it again. I think I'll go for small or maybe even go even smaller than what they have and we'll go from there, but yeah. 
mistakes just keep happening in these videos i don't know what's happening <laughs> so i undid it and finally went back to the size small and started working up the edges this time the hat is definitely a much better size so so after working on this almost all day uh because i kept choosing the wrong size basically okay so here's everything that happened first i was making it and i was like okay since i'm using thicker yarn i am going to go with the the small size because that'll probably be what works best and then i was like no i should go with medium so i started with medium and then went no this is thicker yarn so i should do small so then i started working up the small and that's where i left it yesterday then today i was like no small is going to be too small so i should actually go with large so then i undid everything that i had done i started making it large <laughs> and then it was way too big so i was like okay i'm gonna make it medium instead then i made it medium and guess what it was still too big so i went back to small and finally i am at this point so now i've worked up the sides and i just need to make the brim this is a fine size i don't know why i thought i needed to make it so much bigger so i finished working up the sides now i just need to make the brim so but i think it's really cute i'm excited to have the little stem on it as well um but yeah i don't know why i thought i needed to make a bigger size i i don't know i've been like not trusting my instincts lately and i i think this is a lesson i need to start trusting myself more so anyway i'm gonna go work on the brim and i'm thinking by the end of the day i'll have that done uh and then i'll probably make this stem another day and work on other the other hat on another day so yeah let's go make the rest of this hat Alrighty, so it has been a few days since I last filmed. I decided to finish the main part of this hat over the weekend, uh, just in like little off times between doing stuff. And yeah, I think so far it's really cute. I will say it's a little big, but again, that was the yarn that I chose, so that's on me, not on the pattern. So I still think it's very cute. So now I just need to make the little stem with the leaf. And yeah, and I think I will for sure make another hat, make those tweaks to that sweater, but first I want to finish this, so, and I think it's so cute. I'm so excited to wear this to a pumpkin patch later on in October. I need to finish it first, so let's go finish it. Oh, so it's actually the next day now. I did finish the hat, uh, but I will show you guys at the end just because I have more things that I want to work on. So, so I know I mentioned at the beginning that I have a sweater that I want to make some tweaks to uh, just because it's going to use the same yarn that I want to use for the second hat that I'm going to make. So before that, I will show you the sweater itself. So it is this wavy pattern sweater. Honestly, the main issue that I was having from what I recall is that the sleeves were too short. So I'm actually going to try putting it on again and just remind myself what exactly was wrong because obviously it's been summer so i haven't worn it in a second but there were a couple things that i knew i wanted to tweak about it and i'm pretty sure it was just the length but let, let me make sure yeah so like it's not terrible but i can tell that like as i move the sleeves do kind of shorten a little bit and i want them just a little bit longer since at its shortest point it's like hitting here you know so i'm gonna make that tweak to this i'll just add like a row or two to each sleeve and then i think i should have plenty to make the next hat so I will do that and then I will make another bucket hat, which I am so excited for. <laughs> So yeah, all I did was attach the yarn to the seam and then go around each sleeve two more times just to make them slightly longer. Appa also really was wanting some attention, so she hung out with me on my desk for a while. But 
but eventually she did get up and I finished the sleeves and then I had plenty of yarn left to make the second bucket hat so I went ahead and started on that. For this one I had used a pattern that I've used before. Uh, it's one that was made by Jenna Phipps. Uh, I will find it online again and we'll be sure to link it below. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty basic bucket hat shape uh, for this one. Uh, the largest size is what I went with since again I usually need larger hats and actually this one is surprisingly a little bit small uh, even though going with the large size so I think again just I'm using a different yarn than what was used in the original pattern so for that it made it a little bit small but I'm okay with this one being a little bit tighter just because I imagine I'm gonna wear it more and it's probably going to stretch out more than the pumpkin hat would so it's just super simple and straightforward pattern I did struggle a little bit with this yarn since it likes to split apart and it's not as tightly spun so again it's just harder to get the crochet hook in but I think it'll make for a really nice hat uh, in the end and I really like how the color worked up since it is a variegated yarn I think it turned out really cute so it is the next day. I made really good progress on the hat yesterday. Uh, I have like this much done. So now I just need to make the brim. I am really liking how it's turning out so far. What's funny is this hat's actually a little small, but like I think it'll stretch over time with wearing it. So I'm okay with it being a little small, but it's just funny that the other hat was a little too big and this one's a little too small, but... That's just how it goes. That's how it happens, you know? But yeah, uh, I'm really liking this hat so far. I just need to make the brim. So, and then I'm done with everything, which is great. So I think I can finish this today, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go work on that brim and we'll see if I'm done today. <laughs> But join me once again while finishing up the hat. I'm honestly happy she's been so content just resting on my desk while I've worked because usually she comes up and just wants pets all the time. So, but eventually she did leave and I was able to finish up the hat. Okay, so I am happy to say that I have finished everything, which is great. So I now have both hats I can show you. So of course, the first one, the showstopper, the pumpkin bucket hat. It is so cute. I'm going to put it on. I mean, I love it. I think it is so cute. Now, it's definitely too big, but again, that's my own fault and not the pattern. I chose thicker yarn, so I think if I were to wear this, like, out and about I'd maybe stick some bobby pins in it just to make sure it stays on my head but I think it's so cute I'll just turn around so you can actually see the top but I think it's adorable I'm really excited to have it for this fall and then the other one alrighty and then here's the other one but yeah I think it's really cute it's a much more smaller profile so I think this will be nice during like fall and winter especially on bad hair days like today i was having such a bad hair day because i keep trying these hats on and off so uh but yeah i really like this I, this one i definitely made maybe just a hair too small but i think as i wear it it's gonna stretch so i'm not super concerned about that so yeah yeah and then the sweater i just added a couple rows to the sleeves so i'm not gonna bother showing it because honestly you can't tell a difference i can tell wearing it but like seeing it it's not that big of a difference so but I'm glad that I had plenty of yarn for that and I still actually have some yarn left over if I end up wanting to make more tweaks so but yeah I'm really happy with both of these I'm happy to have some fun hats for the fall time and I'm just so excited that we're so close to fall also I will link below the patterns for both of these hats uh, in case anyone wants to make them because I did not come up with these patterns myself um but yeah I think that's everything I might take a bit of a break from crochet next week because my hands a little bit tired from doing so much so I think the next one I'll maybe be like painting or something so if you're interested in that come back for that um, and I'm also planning hopefully to be posting um, every single week in October just because I love fall time and I'm very excited to just make a bunch of fall things so uh, I'm excited for that and I've been preparing for that as well so yeah, I think that's everything. So, so yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see me make or do, just let me know down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and everything. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Um. Also, wow. Not the string hanging off of it. Like, oh my gosh, the sun just left. 
It got so dark. Before that, I will show you. Uh, uh, person, there's a person outside. Okay, okay, maybe it's in the clear. Okay, okay. Wow, I actually covered the whole thing for once. <laughs> okay, bye.